Hello, welcome to The Andy Show, and we wanted to jump on. I know we just did an update a few days ago, but here we are. Our market value has topped 3 billion dinar. So, I mean, it could drop tomorrow, but for now, we are sitting at 3 billion dinar, and that's a good thing to see. The market keeps climbing. And one of the things I wanted to do, I'm getting the emails asking about the value and what their account is worth. So I'm going to reiterate here for the 10th or 12th time. When you invest, you are investing in Woolard Enterprises. It has zero value other than what you invested until there is a change in the rate of the Iraqi dinar which we base our minimum at one dollar so when one US dollar and one dinar are the same or the dinar is worth more than one dollar that is when we start pulling funds out of the account in Iraq. Those funds belong to Willard Enterprises Trust. We then take whatever, for example, we have 165,958,529 dinar. If it happens to be a rate change at Strictly an example, one dollar to one dinar. We would pull approximately a hundred, say, hundred and fifty million dinar out, which would equal a hundred and fifty million dollars. Everything we do, so we pull that hundred and fifty million. There'll be fees and stuff, so we'll we'll pull a little extra so that what we actually gain from pulling the funds out is <clears throat> excuse me 150 million dollars okay that 150 million 10 percent comes off for the expenses and for the trust so you would have 135 million dinar all right, so out of that 135 million dinar, let me see if I can get this over here. Okay, so if we've got 150 million, so well, 135 million, so if we pulled 150. Okay, that gets divided by the number of blocks in the group. 13,335 blocks. So the value of each block would be $10,123.73. Okay, this 1073, 10,123.73. Okay. Let's say you've got 10 blocks. You would have $1,237.34. That is the amount that would be distributed from Willard Enterprises Trust to each member slash beneficiary of the trust. If you've got a hundred blocks then you're looking at a million bucks so that's how you would figure it if it comes out at two something three something whatever amount it comes out at as long as it's valued at one dollar or more you do not have any personal money invested in the Iraq stock market Willard Enterprises has an investment into the Iraqi stock market. 
but because we use your funds you are a beneficiary of this there is there is no personal money involved okay I'm, I don't know how else to explain it but you sent money to a trust the trust invested that money you will reap the rewards as an investor okay it's it's almost it's really tough to explain and so many won't even hear this to be able to allow me to explain it to them but the emails I'm going to start referring people to this video and hopefully this will help answer the question of it what is my account worth right now your account is worth what you put into it let's say you bought 10 blocks you invested a thousand dollars that went to Iraq you paid eleven hundred but a hundred of that was uh, the fee. So you've got a thousand dollars invested. Your account is worth one thousand dollars until there has been a change in the rate. No matter what we show here, I mean, we could show that it's worth six billion dollars. Your account is still only worth that initial one thousand dollars until such time as the rate change okay so right now your investment is currently valued with a 10 block purchase at a thousand dollars now if you want to leave the group you lose 20 percent of that and that was set high as a way to discourage anyone from leaving we're not pre preventing anyone from leaving the group and several have but there is a stiff penalty involved and that will remain until there is a change in the rate I have mentioned float in the past I know you've heard that if the rate changes and it came out at 23 cents per dinar it has no bearing on us as investors in this group at 23 cents once that value equals one to one that's when we start pulling this purchase power here any funds that are in it we will we will pull a chunk of that we've got to leave some in there to cover fees and expenses and things like that but we will pull a significant amount of this and we will distribute that again per block I hope this clears that part up uh, I've gotten some questions about am I sick am I not healthy da, 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 da. what's wrong with me yes I have lost some weight I am not sick I have been behind a computer for quite a few years sitting at home working and not doing a whole lot and didn't realize I had put on so much weight <laughs> but back in April I started a little side thing where I buy storage units I go clear them out uh, there were days it was 105, 108 degrees and I'm loading and unloading these storage units and transporting and unloading again I sweat my tail off most of the summer so that's where my weight loss was I worked for the first time in quite a few years and it just started I just started shedding pounds I've lost right at 60 pounds and I am not sick at all uh, everything is going great with me don't be alarmed if something were to happen to me we have a backup plan and nothing will change the only thing that will change is someone else will be doing this for me and if that is the case, I wish you all the best. 
But uh, the only way that I won't continue to do this is if God chooses to call me home. So I'm, I don't worry about that. I go on each day and I am very happy and healthy. In fact, I plan to get another unit tomorrow and we'll go from there. But right now it's been uh, working these storage units, loading, unloading, uh, packing up and taking to a flea market that I do once a month and setting up there for a couple of days and it's just I've been extremely active compared to what I was in the past that's the extent of why I've lost so much weight but it got nothing to do with an illness or sickness or anything else I am very very healthy so I just want to reassure you that everything is going great I, I none of us know the day we're going to meet our maker but uh, right now uh, due to health concerns I just I want to quash that nothing wrong with me that I'm aware of and we'll keep going from there but everything is good we will continue to watch this and hope for the best over this next week week and a half uh, I just I personally am of the belief that they have been preparing and are preparing for something to happen on or by the first and I have no proof I can't guarantee you that it is my own personal feelings that that we're right on top of this uh, we've been here in the past and we've thought everything was done but we were wrong then we could easily be wrong now and we'll just have to keep taking this one day at a time and hope and pray for the best and go from there I said this uh, when we initially started this I made no secret that this was going to be a long-term investment I had no idea then and I truly have no idea now it's just that everything that is taking place appears that they are pushing very hard to be an international currency and with that you cannot have a program rate so whether it comes out at a dollar plus three dollars plus or a float I still have no answer for you on that but I truly believe that they are going to be on the international stage. I don't know completely what they're waiting for or what yet needs to be done. But I am possibly more hopeful than expectant. And just like you guys, I'm not privy to any insider information, any insider knowledge of any kind. I just go by what I see what I hear and what they are doing on all the fronts and with them announcing in the recent past that the US is finally working with them that signals to me that good things are about to happen we don't know but I very likely will not do another update video I just wanted to jump on here clarify the account value uh, it I won't say it gets old it's just that I seem to answer the same question over and over and I am likely not even reaching those people but the accounts remain the same the value remains the same until there's been a change in the actual value of the dinar which we have collectively based a minimum at one to one so even if it changes and it goes to 90 cents it is not a significant change as far as the group is concerned it has to be one for one at that point like I said, we will pull funds and we will make a distribution. 
I have been asked more than once, how do I get out once the rate changes? If the rate changes, I'm going to have to go back and look at the contract to make sure I am 100% on this. But as far as I know, if you have uh, an investment in this group and you say, I want out once it reaches dollar for dollar. And let's just say we've got this $3 billion here. You say, I want out. Okay. Here's how you would do it. You would have um, a total market value of $3,617,800. And 3.43. Okay. And you would divide that by the number of blocks which would be 13,335 blocks. You would have $225,018 per block. Okay, you take that, you would minus the 10%. That is Okay, I didn't do something right. I don't think, let's see. So I'm going to clear that. We're going to take this number. I apologize, guys. Alright, so we're going to say this. And we're going to multiply that. Or, or I'm sorry, we're going to minus... 10%. Okay, so you would have 22,501 coming off of this. So you'd have basically 203,000. Okay, just we'll use it, we'll round it up 203,000 per block. Let's say you have just three blocks. So your account value now would be 609000 This is This is your actual account value based on this figure here. If you choose to get out at that point in time, you would get 75% of the 600. So we'll multiply that by 75%. Did I not hit the percent? <laughs> I keep messing this up. 609, oh, oh, minus 75%. So you would get $456,750 for your three blocks. And you would be done. You would no longer get, you wouldn't get a portion of the money that we've got coming from this or anything else. Your $456,000 would be paid out, one-time payment, you're done, you're out of the group. Okay. It's a steep hit. It's 25% from... Your actual value of 609000 to 456000 But you've got a big one-time payout. You're done. You're out of the group. What does that do with the blocks that are left? Well, we've paid this out. It comes out of everybody's funds. So if we had $150 million, we paid somebody off for three blocks, then we've got a little bit less. But again, once you get out, you're not getting a check tomorrow. You're going to wait until we have to pull these dividends so that we can pay you off and then you're done. But you wouldn't get a portion of those funds. You see what I'm saying? Because we're going to pay you out, then we're going to distribute funds to the remaining members. I don't know how confusing that may be, but I really believe that 
it would be a foolish mistake because with three blocks you're you're getting ten thousand per block no I'm sorry you'd be getting roughly a hundred thousand per block so instead of your three blocks no you'd get ten thousand per block that's that would be the current value at 135 million okay so you get 10,000 so you're you're giving up 30,000 so once you gave up that 30,000 you're actually only getting 426,000 now true you could get your pay per block here this 10,000 then you could say I want out well you gotta wait until we have more dividends here to be able to pull those funds so anyway, it's all spelled out in the contract, uh, but you only get 75%. Why is that? Well, you're taking a chunk from everybody else because what you're doing is you're cutting everybody's immediate distribution from that $135 million. You're taking your chunk, so they're each going to get just a little bit less. In other words, if, if you... Uh, so this 456,000 we'll divide that by the number of blocks so everybody is losing because you wanted to get paid out everybody else is losing about $12 per block okay I don't know if that makes sense to you or not either but uh, it does not pay to get out of the group but some people need that immediate excess of cash hey that's fine because you chose to get out but these stocks are going to continue to grow this value is going to continue to grow our distribution of dividends is going to continue to grow and you get none of that so I mean, there are going to be people that choose to go this route and there's nothing I can do to stop them but just understand that if you get out every three blocks you're looking at roughly twelve dollars less of the dividend that you could have gotten but next time we pay dividends we're a little bit stronger because now instead of eleven thousand three hundred and thirty five that person with three blocks got out we're dividing it by eleven thousand three hundred and thirty two so as people do get out, and they will, then you're looking at the overall dividend each time increasing per block. And how much that is completely depends on the number of people that do get out and the amount of the dividends that we are collecting on. So that's it. There you have it. And hopefully... We're looking at the end of this ride very, very soon. Until then, have a very Merry Christmas. Take care, everyone. Stay healthy. Stay happy. And God bless you all. Talk to you soon.